It's really loud. It's really loud. Is it loud now? No. Okay. <laughs> Welcome back to Celeste's Corner. So today I am filming my very first bump date and this is going to be week 28 to 30. So I'm going to be 30 weeks tomorrow which is exactly when you guys are going to be seeing this video. Hopefully, fingers crossed because sometimes my videos take forever to export from iMovie to my laptop and then I have to upload to YouTube and then sometimes the internet is crappy so I'm like, can you just work? So hopefully it'll work. Um, so I'm just gonna get straight into it. The very first thing that I put on my little notes was that um, at 28 weeks, I ate some strawberries for the very first time in my pregnancy. I don't really eat strawberries, like, I don't care for strawberries. I'm not a strawberry person. I'll eat them once in a while if I feel like it, and especially with Nutella. They taste good with Nutella. Um, so I ate like four of them. There's a cat crying. Okay, so I ate four of them and I got pretty nauseous and there was a point where I had to stop chewing and like breathe through my nose and like try not to throw up. But it wasn't too bad, like I've had worse situations so it wasn't bad and I just continued eating them and then I didn't throw up so I was good. So because of that, um, I started thinking, I'm like, I wonder if my baby is going to be a picky eater and i really hope not because i was never a picky eater growing up and hector wasn't either although he like now doesn't like fruits and vegetables <laughs> too much but other than that yeah we weren't picky eaters so i really hope my child's not a picky eater so the next thing that i wrote down is that thank god my tailbone pain has stopped Completely. Well, not completely. I would say 90%. Can somebody shut this cup of cat out? Jerry's crying. Okay, so yeah, my tailbone pain stopped. If you guys don't know about that, go check out my second trimester video where I was talking about that. And it was just so painful. And yeah, I would say that my tailbone only hurts now during the night if I was very active during the day. Um, which another thing is that people always say like be active be active during pregnancy but my pregnancy is totally opposite from everybody else's it's like like usually like the pain for other people stops if they're active but for me it comes when I'm active so it's weird so the next thing is that I was sick for a complete week and Actually, I'm not even 100% to be honest like I'm not sick anymore, but my nose it just runs like a faucet and It's not stuffy, but it just runs and it's like clear TMI, but so I'm not sick anymore, but yeah, I was sick for a week and I didn't go to the doctors and Didn't take anything. I just toughened it out and ugh, It's terrible. I hated it. So being sick and pregnant sucks. I'm gonna go get this cat. Here's Cherry. Look. Look. <laughs> she's crying, so she's gonna be here in the room. Okay, go. Go. I said go, not stay on the bed. Oi. And she's probably gonna leave anyways. Okay, so I'm going to leave that door open in case she wants to come back in. Alright, so the next thing I wrote down is that I've been having deep sleeps. Like, I mean deep. Like, before I've been a very light sleeper. Like, I'm still a light sleeper, but when I'm starting to go to sleep. But once I'm asleep, I'm in a deep sleep, if that makes any sense. And I've been having weird dreams. I don't know what they're even about. I'll even have, like, 20, like, small dreams all throughout the night and I wake up and I have no idea what I dreamed about I don't remember them they're not bad dreams they're just 
they just happen and it's weird and the baby's movements have moved upwards which is so weird because maybe about a month ago i was like oh like when is the baby's movements gonna like when, when am i gonna feel the baby's move, movements at the top of my stomach i always felt it in my lower stomach and just by 28 weeks i started feeling kicks and movements at the top of my stomach and now i barely feel them at the bottom and because of that sitting up has been very difficult for me not very difficult but like it's very uncomfortable like even right now it's uncomfortable because the baby is just sitting like literally on top of my stomach and it's in the way of my my lungs and like i'm just out of breath most of the time and like my boobs are getting bigger so my boobs are sitting on the top of my stomach and it's just not a fun situation for either me or baby another thing that happened around 29 weeks is that my hip pains have increased so i lost my tailbone pain and then i got hip pains but my hip pain is only during the night it's because i end up sleeping on only my hips because that's all we can do as a pregnant woman and because we're not all sleeping on our stomach or our back so i'm very comfortable sleeping on my right side and because i'm mainly on my right side my right hip starts to hurt and then i roll over onto my left side and then my left starts to hurt and then i just keep repeating 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 flipping and flipping and flipping and it's annoying and it's annoying hector hopefully not i don't know he said it doesn't affect him but i still feel bad <laughs> and the last thing is that i realized that i've gained a lot more stretch marks which totally sucks and i've just come to a piece of mind to say that there's nothing you can do about it i lotion my body more than once a day and nothing helped and i had stretch marks before getting pregnant and now they just it's just i've gotten more that's it that's all i can say but the weird thing is that i had i had stretch marks before on my lower stomach and like my hips and they moved upwards so now i don't have really stretch marks at the bottom of my stomach and they just moved up and they're sitting on the top of my stomach and then i also gained more on top of that and i have on the back of like just right here like on the back of what do you call this like your back fat yeah anyways so i got it there lots more on my hips all the bottom lower part of my back so i'm covered so finding a new bathing suit for me this summer is gonna be a tough one um i have no problem with stretch marks i think it's a human thing but i still feel a little uncomfortable like who doesn't you know but there's nothing I can do about it and I'm gonna be a mom so obviously I just got these stretch marks because I'm having a baby <laughs> okay so that was the last I guess you can say symptom or bump date that I have for you guys but I do have a little story time also which is something that occurred yesterday it started off around I woke up at 8 30 yesterday morning I got ready I was feeling perfectly fine I took my prenatal and then his mom had a doctor's appointment and we decided to go with her so we went and at around 10 30 or 10 25 i started feeling very weird we were sitting in the waiting room and i was just feeling very like anxious and i was like kind of like shaky and just a little weary and just a little off and I started feeling very nauseous and I was start I started to feel very hot. So these symptoms are exactly what happened the last two times that I've fainted in my life. I fainted one time before my pregnancy and one time during. And unfortunately I fainted again yesterday and I had a little seizure. So um so all i remember is i looked at hector who was on my left side and i was like i don't feel good and then he's like what do you mean like you don't feel good and he's like i forget exactly what he said but all i remember is like he said something like do you want to go for a walk or like are you okay or something like that 
and then I remember closing my eyes because I usually close my eyes if I feel very nauseous and I'll breathe so I can focus on my breathing so I don't throw up so I closed my eyes and I was like breathing 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 and that's all I remember so now I'll bring Hector in for the next part okay so I stopped off I explained like before like what I was feeling and then I said all I remember is I closed my eyes and I was breathing and then that's all I remember yeah okay so after okay so usually what happens is she will tell me I don't know why I said usually because it only happened one time to me when she was with me or to her more like uh, but basically she always says that she doesn't feel good because I'm pretty sure she already said mm -hmm. and then it's always followed by this inhale and then as soon as she exhales that's when the, it starts so this time she exhaled and that was it she she got really stiff and she started shaking and her arms were kind of like like outward like this and she started sliding down on the chair that she was sitting on and her chin was like pushing really hard onto her chest which worried me i, I don't know much about um i i, I don't know if i should be using the word seizure mm -hmm. like, yeah it's kind of iffy but I, i'm not i'm not i'm just using it as an example i'm not saying that that's exactly what happened obviously it could be worse or i, I don't know mm -hmm. but i'm just gonna use that um so basically it looked like a seizure to me so i i just wanted to make sure she could breathe so i literally just grabbed her and lifted her up and sat her down and then i grabbed her arms and i put them together right like like not squished together just like it's on her lap and then i started lifting up her chin and this all happened really fast like the way i'm explaining it sounds like very chill and everything no this happened in at least 10 seconds mm -hmm. originally i said it was seven seconds but when i thought about it there was a moment when she was still coming back which took longer so i'm gonna go with the 10 second mark um but basically she made some weird noises and she was breathing really hard and then she just came back like out of nowhere just boop back yeah and then when i came back um it was really weird because like hector was on my left his mom was on my right and then there was the receptionist of the doctor's office like right, right in the middle and then they were like, Celeste, Celeste. And the weird thing is, is I literally just felt like I was sleeping because I was dreaming. And that's the weird part because I'm just like, why was I dreaming? And I don't even remember what my dream was because I would love to know what that dream was. So, like, I don't know. I'm a strong believer in dreams. Like, what if it was like a sign of something? I don't know. But there's no, like, figuring out what it was. And then, um,. I just felt like, felt like I was dreaming, so when I woke up, everyone was like freaking out and was like, what? I was sleeping. No. And, um, and my, my ears were like, okay, when the lady asked me what was happening, I used the wrong word. Again, I was still slightly out of it. I just said my ears were ringing. And she automatically assumed, oh, like, she has an ear infection, so she passed out. No. When that I, was weird. I don't know much about that. She just said it could, it would check, get your ears checked. I'm just feeling like, what? Yeah. So that does happen. <laughs> like if you're like if you have an ear infection that goes um, untreated for a long time, but it's not that because it happens every time that this happens. Um, my my ears feel weird when I wake up. It's kind of like like I'm underwater and people are talking to me. So they were talking to me, and I kind of had to like seriously listen to what they were saying or else i wouldn't be able to make out what they were saying yeah. and it just felt like i was underwater and yeah so after that we went to the hospital uh, my hospital and they hooked me up for like how long was i in the test it was good like, like 40 minutes what is it, like a stress test was it called yeah yeah you were on it for like a pretty long time i would say 40 minutes close to an hour yeah and they just had us there for the longest time and yeah, so that, that was the non-stress test, which I will put a clip here. And then after that test, um, they said that everything looked fine with the baby, like perfectly fine. There was lots of kicks and um, the baby's heart rate was perfect and the baby was just happy flipping this as usual 
and then um, they did an ECG right there in the room and my ECG my ECG was good and if you don't know what that is it's just my heart rate which is good my blood pressure was perfect my blood work came back and it was perfect so there was literally nothing wrong but anxiety but anxiety so here's where this I was a panic attack so yeah so all that was was a panic attack which i assumed that not only this time but the last time as well um the last time this happened i was actually going to make a story time about this but i didn't end up doing it it happened on the bus and i was on my way to an appointment with hector it was the one and only time that we were taking the bus to our um to our appointment and because we always did a drive there oh so, yeah so that was the one time that we took the bus to the appointment instead of getting a drive and we were on our way there and we were super close to home and i just had the same symptoms feeling hot blah 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 it was a crowded bus and i passed out on the bus my head hit the pole and the next stop i just got off because i felt like i was about to throw up everywhere which i didn't and then um yeah we end up still going to the appointment and then getting checked out there it almost happened again in front of the doctor when she was taking my blood pressure and yeah so again nothing was wrong that time either and we just ruled it out as a panic attack and this is where i will say that pregnancy can take a toll on your body especially if you already have mental health issues before pregnancy so i did have a lot of anxiety throughout high school and college um but i've always been okay with crowds and lots of people and dealing with my anxiety but this pregnancy has definitely taken a toll on my anxiety and i can no longer do crowds um i one time when we went if you guys saw the vlog for our one year anniversary we went to the um christmas tree revealing at eaton center and i had those same symptoms that day because there were just so many people and it was hot and i just couldn't do it and so now i know crowds are not my thing even malls i can't be in there for a long time and i really hope that that goes away afterwards because i like crowds i like malls i like going to like you know events and stuff and now i won't be able to do it because this is how i end up feeling um so back to what happened yesterday again everything went well um baby is okay i'm okay thank you guys so much for all the concerns on instagram and snapchat so if you guys don't have me on social media make sure you guys add me the links are, will be right here and on my end screen because those people found out what happened before you guys so before i end this video i am going to show you guys my belly shot which will be in a tank top i'm going to change my shirt because the shirt doesn't even go all the way up like all the way to cover my stomach so i'm gonna go put on a tank top and i'll be right back okay so don't mind the mess in the back but here is my stomach from the front at 30 weeks tomorrow and then here's from the side so if you guys realize my stomach goes pointy like from here and it's nice and hard i'm carrying very like high and then once my belly button starts all down here is my chub from pre-pregnancy so all my like fat i guess you can say has moved all the way down to my lower stomach and it just hangs there which is really ugly but here's from this side see it goes around and then i have chub at the bottom so well, that will be it for my video if you guys have any questions or just any comments or anything just um comment them down below i would love to hear from you guys and thank you so much for watching my very first bump date the next one will be in two weeks i hope you enjoyed this video and i will see you guys next time on Celeste's corner